Hey guys, for watching Volgor's videos, and this is about some sad, sick news I just read up it recently. I mean, within the past 10 minutes. And I was recording a video, and then I decided, you know, I went too long, so I'd probably do a take two. Two. So, um, <clears throat> uh, it was just on Facebook and whatever, and watching YouTube videos and Craigslist or whatever. And then I went on Facebook, and, uh, one of the persons I'm friends with is uh, on a radio show I listen to about every day. It's called The Donkey Show, and uh, his name's Tanner. And uh, on his post, you know, you can you can type in a uh, a link, and people can click on the link and and read on it, you know. And it said right here. Let me show this little video and share. It says says no more Aflac. Affleck fires Gilbert Gottfried over Japan jokes. And I'm like, oh no, this is so stupid. You know, these people, uh, these people, celebrities that have the most greatest jobs, you know. I mean, like Charlie Sheen. I mean, like, I can't really think of anybody else at, at, right now except for Gilbert Gottfried, those two. Those two. But there's got to be somebody else. You know, there's got to be somebody else. But, you know, there's just those celebrities that have great jobs, you know. They're just doing something simple, portraying themselves pretty much, and then they just screw it up. Gilbert Gottfried, he sounds like a duck. He says some stupid comment, ruins it. And, uh, you know, Charlie Sheen with his deal, you know. I don't really see what he's done, done wrong except for acting like a dick, you know, whatever. And now people act like he's, like, the biggest thing that happened since... I don't know, Michael Jackson or whatever. Anyways, back to the point of the video. Um, let's go back to the screen mode. Uh, so yeah, I click on this, Fox News. I don't really like Fox News, but that's beyond the point. Right here. Affleck fires... Wait a minute. Uh, okay, it's showing the thing. Uh, Affleck fires Gilbert Gottfried over Japan jokes. So I was reading about it. And... Uh, Affleck said in a statement Monday that Gottfried's jokes do not represent the feelings of the company, which previously announced it would donate 10 million yen, or 1.2 million dollars, to the International Red Cross to help disaster assistance. I hope they were going to do that anyway. It's not just because Gilbert Gottfried said some sick slanderous jokes. You know, slanderous. It sounds kind of slanderous. It's not supposed to sound good. Um, sick demented jokes whatever um yeah so there if you want to read there anyways um so what did he say i was trying to figure out what did he say and after a quick i, I looked on his twitter and then i didn't, i couldn't find it um there's his face if you don't know what Gil, who gilbert gottfried looks like he looks like a piece of shit little Cox stand needs to be shot in the head, really. <laughs> if you ask me, he needs to be put on a pole, duct taped to a pole, and ran with a truck. Punch with a truck. That's what he needs to do. Or, or uh, some electro shock treatment, put in an electric chair, because then what it says is those sick, those sick, heartless words needs to be treated. You know, need, needs needs a dosage of their own medicine. Um, anyways, where, where did I see it? Um, right here. Here's a screenshot, so in case he deleted it, this is exactly what he said. I just split up with my girlfriend. Yeah, no, no. I wonder why. But like the Japanese say, there'll be another one floating by any minute now. I didn't even know he said that until, until after I read this one. Japan is really advanced. They don't go to the beach. The beach comes to them. Congratulations, Gilbert Gottfried. You're now the biggest dick in the world. You're, you're, about as, you're up there with Assam and Hussein. In my in my opinion, because I don't even think like terror. I've never heard of any terrorist say anything twisted like that. I mean, that they might say something against Americans, you know, in in general. I mean, if if you're thinking I'm I'm talking some crazy crap, then you, you can tell me. But in my opinion, I'll, I've never heard anybody say something so bad ever. But yeah, I mean, of all the racist jokes I've heard and all that, all that. Anything I've heard that's the worst. I'm, I don't know, whatever. And so here's some history about Affleck. Um, Affleck or the duck, 
has been around since 2000, so it's been 12 years, and uh, I just think it would be really sad just because uh, Gilbert Gottfried can't keep his mouth shut to just, you know, cut off the, the duck. I mean, I love that duck. Whenever I see that duck on the commercials, the Affleck commercials, it just brightens my day. You know, I love ducks. They're so cute and cuddly, you know, and soft and fluffy, you know, and they're so, whatever, I love ducks, you know. And, uh, what, what would be Affleck be without the duck, you know? I don't, yeah, nothing. I mean, they're, they're so, I'm sure they're a great company, especially to donate 1.2 million to the, to the, to Japan for the American Red Cross. But, they, they can't get rid of the duck. If it did, it, it's been 12 years, or, yeah, it's 11, 12 years of the Affleck duck. And I hope Affleck doesn't kill it off. And they can find another voice. I mean, you know, I bet Seth Rogen could be a great Affleck duck. Just imagine that Seth Rogen is an Affleck duck. It'd be hilarious. Um, or, or who else could be Affleck duck? Um, I don't know. Affleck or Seth Rogen's the only person I can think of. But I'm sure somebody could be the next Affleck duck. And I'm sure Affleck has to. Uh, hire the next another voice for Affleck Duck. They can't just get rid of the Affleck Duck because it's Affleck. Affleck Quack. What are they gonna change the name to? Insurance Two. I don't know. Whatever. I mean, it's not important. It's not a big deal, you know, that they they get rid of the duck or whatever. Because I just love the commercials, whatever. But it's not nearly as big a deal as what's going on in Japan, and it's just. You know, really sad. I see it on TV all the time. I just think, geez, you know, how how's that going to be put back? You know, it's crazy. Well, I've gone long enough. I just want I want to hear what somebody has to say. What you guys have to say about this whole debacle? You know, and uh, I bet people that were acqu friends or acquaintances with Gilbert Gottfried probably think a little less of him now. I would probably think so. Alright, that's enough for me. Comment, subscribe, and...